Hello and welcome back to Podcast School. This is another look at logic. In fact, this is logic part two. It follows on from the last video podcast. Okay, so this podcast is going to concern uh, questions. It's going to have more questions in it rather than facts like the last podcast did. Um, so if you haven't already looked at the first, if the, at the last podcast, sorry, then go back and review that because um, you'll need the information that that contained in order to, to look at these questions. So let's uh, start off by looking at question four. It says, a metal cutting machine has two switches. Anyone will allow the cutter to run. The first switch is on the side of the machine and the second is a foot operated switch. Okay, notice it says anyone will allow the cutter to run. However, the machine has two micro switches used as safety devices. If any of these is released, the cutter will stop. If any of these is released, the cutter will stop. The first micro switch is on a guard. If this is opened, the machine will stop. The second micro switch is on a door, which allows access to the moving mechanism of the milling machine. If this is opened, the machine will stop. In other words, if one, if either of them are uh, opened, then the machine will stop. Okay. Uh, the other little piece of information you need to know is the micro switches are normally logic one, true, high, on when pressed. Draw the logic diagram for this machine. Okay, now I'm not going to um, I'm not going to dwell on this. I'm just going to show you the answer right now. So if you want to have a time to think about this, well, then you should press your pause button just now. Okay, so I assume now you've unpaused. So let's have a look at the answer. There you have it. You've got well. First of all, the on-off switches. I said that either of those will make the machine start. So we've got an OR gate. Okay, remember we're building this up in logic. So or, so A or B. All right. And also, as well as that, there were two micro switches. And I said that if, if uh, one of those is released, then the machine will also stop or will stop. Okay, so if you think about that, if C and D were both one when pressed, that would give a one output here. Okay, if either one of those, if the door was opened or whatever, the switch would no longer be pressed and therefore you would have a zero in one of them, depending on which one it was, and therefore you would get a zero at the output. So you'd no longer have a zero, you'd no longer have a one at the input of this AND gate. So no matter what the OR switches were, or the OR input was, Q would be a zero. So the machine would go off and that's what you want. Okay, in other words, that describes completely the uh, function that we need. And in fact, that is the answer. Okay, so uh, I hope you got that. Now, following on from that, it says the room has two emergency stop buttons at either end of the workshop. So these are additional safety devices. If either of these are pressed, all machinery in the room will stop. Draw the new logic circuit for the arrangement of the buttons and switches. Okay, so obviously this answer is going to incorporate the first answer plus a little bit extra. Again, I'm about to show you the answer. If you want to pause it now, do so. Okay, here it is. Okay, same as before, but this time we are um, looking for two uh, emergency switches at either side of the room. Okay, so those are inputs. We input those into an OR gate. Um, I've ensured this is a NOT gate or an inverter, but I, I know that you know now that if, if we wanted to combine that into one uh, logic gate, that would just be a NOR. Okay, so a NOR in other words, and then again input to an AND. Alright, so I hope you got that. If you didn't then, uh, well, have a think and I'm sure that you will reach the same conclusion as I did. Next question. Simplify this combinational logic. Now that can look quite daunting. And there was a question similar to this in the last podcast. And what I said there was sometimes you might not see um, labels given in the middle of the combinational logic. You might just have A and B as inputs and Q as an output. What you should definitely do is just add any labels that uh, you need to add in. And I said that I normally add a C or following on from the letters, in other words, um, to the right hand side of the input, but onto the left hand side of the output, I normally go, I use the sort of um, 
the latter part of the alphabet. So I use X or Y or Z just to denote that that's near the output. Don't know why actually, maybe it's just something I do. <laughs> maybe it's a bit strange, I don't know, but that's what I do. Okay, so let's, uh, let's see how we do this. I've got the diagram again and I've filled out A and B and remember in the last podcast I said that uh, your inputs should always be 000111 and I explained that and 10 standard way of doing things. And really it's easy after this. All you've got to do now is fill out the table. So let's look. Um, C is the output simply of a NAND so we can fill that out straight away. Okay, as so. Notice the only time that it's not a 1, the output is not a 1 at C, is when uh, the input is a 1 and a 1, opposite to an AND. Okay, the X input, or output, depends what you want to look at it, the X um, state is conditional on A and C. So really what we're looking at is column A and column C. So we're ignoring B for the time being. So it's an a an AND gate again. So a 0 and a 1 will give us a 1. A 0 and a 1 again will give us a 1. A 1 and a 0, so I'm looking here and here, well, gives a 1. And a 1 and a 0, uh, sorry, a 1 and a 1 will give us a 0. Okay, so that's X got. So now all we've got to do is get Y. So for Y, we're looking at, yeah, B and C. So it's these two columns we're looking at this time. So a Y then, or let's go for Y. So 0 and a 1 will give us a 1. A 1 and a 1 will give us a 0. A 1 and a 1, again, will give us a, sorry, 1 and a 0 will give us a 1. And a 0 and a 1 will give us a 1. Okay, again, just using the basic NAND truth table to, to work that out. Now, what's left? Q and again Q is the result of uh, X and Y with an AND function so let's just go through that a 1 and a 1 a 0 a 1 and a 0 is a 1 a 1 and a 1 is a 0 and a 0 and a 1 is a 1 okay now question is what does that logic simplify to so I've highlighted the uh, the inputs and the outputs okay so really you know forget about C X and Y for now Really, if this was a black box and these were two wires going in, well, we'd only see A and B, and we'd only see Q coming out. So that's all we've got to concern ourselves with. So the output Q of this truth table is 0101, and I know you've seen that before, and you've probably got it by now. Yeah, this is an exclusive OR gate. Remember, it'll only give you a 1 when the input is a 0 and a 1. And unlike uh, a or a normal OR gate, it gives you a zero whenever the input is a one and a one. So that's the, the strange one there. Anyway, it's an exclusive OR. Okay, lastly, um, I've just put a note saying that it's not good practice to mix different logic ICs. This writing's a bit small, by the way, and if you're watching this online, uh, actually on your browser, then it might not be just legible. Remember that you should always download the high quality version by uh, subscribing to the feed through iTunes or any other reader that you want to uh, subscribe with, um, because that higher uh, quality version is available to you and also remember how you should be uh, picking up the notes in the feed as well so if you are finding this a little bit uh, difficult well then don't forget there's the other methods to pick this up um, anyway what's it saying yeah so I just said it's not a good idea to make mix logic ICs uh, because if you've um, as you as you know you get ands and nans and ors and ors you get them in groups of four so if you didn't need all four say you only needed two well then that's wasted space on your circuit right in your circuit board um, and you try not to do that so it's best to keep your logic circuits all the same so there's a big advantage in not mixing your logic circuits and building all your functions um, just by it with the one uh, with one logic type so it makes sense to um, to you know try a uh, try and stick to NANs for example and I've shown in fact um, a NOT, an AND, an OR, an exclusive OR all made there with NAND gates okay that's it for now I uh, I shall see you next time. Don't forget, you can email me at info at podcast school. And as I said before, uh, if you haven't done so, pick up the PDF notes. And if you've subscribed in iTunes, just always make sure that you've got all the um, video podcasts. Sometimes if you haven't logged on for a while, you can miss one. 
if you've uh, because iTunes is set up normally to only t download automatically the last one so if it's been a day or two you may have missed one so just make sure you're getting all of these in your feed okay then until next time bye bye